Welcome to another book review of Joe Spinach. Today we are looking at Bibi, the story of Benjamin Netanyahu and an autobiography. Now, is this book worth a read? This is what we are going to discover today. Now, the book's title is Bibi, My Story, and the author is himself, Benjamin Netanyahu, and it's an autobiography. The whole concept of the book is about the early life of uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, how his uh, brother and how his father has shaped him as an individual and the way he looks at the world, how he has built his career, the importance of his family and the general family place, his goals and his dreams and how he has ruled Israel and how he looks the future of Israel. That is the main general topics of the book. Now, in diving a bit deeper, and the big question in everyone's mind, is this a pure bias and a propaganda piece? In one word, well, maybe. The book does, and it partially succeeds, in creating an, a, a book that tries to show no biases, but at the same time, it recognizes its biases and what it does the author it tries to justify his opinions in many many subjects now if you are someone that admires benjamin Netanyahu or someone that's just curious to who he is and i can argue in my opinion he's a very important politician of our times then i urge you to read his book to understand his opinions yes the book is biased but if you are one of his opponents and do not like Benjamin Netanyahu, I still encourage you to read his book because what he does try to do in the book, well, partially tries to do, is to analyze why he believes the things he does for Israel are good for Israel. For example, what he argues is that he truly personally revolutionized the economy of Israel by creating the free market, an argument which I personally totally agree of because I'm an Austrian economist. At the same time, he argues that he went over the Palestinian problem by reaching out uh, to other nations and building relations with them, and that he also tried and managed to navigate an anti-Israeli American uh, presidents like uh, Barack Obama and navigate those waters, and also how he played an important role as an anti-terrorist individual. At the same time, the book has strong biases. It tries to portray his image as this individual that using his uh, brother's sacrifice, uh, he's driven into uh, creating success for Israel and also some things he did in the book, which I got a bit upset. So he has one quotation, for example, saying, what's the most important thing to become uh, a statesman, and he says, history, history, history. Well, this thing was not said by Benjamin Netanyahu. It was said uh, by Churchill. Uh, I don't know why he stole it, but yeah, whatever. Now, uh, Israel uh, and its future. Now, the book and what it tries to do is create an image of how Netanyahu imagines Israel in the future, and how he has done, how he has improved Israel up to this moment, and how he's planning to improve Israel in the future. And he puts huge emphasis on his brother and how his father have, have influenced him, and um, he's encouraging that, uh, and building upon, which feels more like propaganda, but still it has some essence of truth hidden inside. At the same time, his argumentation in regards to the economy of Israel, I think his role, he, he has a bit overplayed his role there, but in general he's not wrong, so it's worthwhile in that regard. Now, it's specifically to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, I know it's a very touchy subject, and uh, Nadeyahu has a very concrete opinion on it, so I wouldn't say anything on that. It's up to you, the individual, to decide uh, whether he's right or wrong, uh, but he doesn't disprove of the existence of Israel, uh, of Palestine, like many people argue. What he argues is for the existence of the Israeli state. Now, he does make an argumentation like, because the land was barren, 
uh, Israel has the right of that land because Israel developed that land. Now, that argumentation, even with a pro-Israeli mindset, I still uh, do not uh, encourage or see in favor of, but his other argumentations in regard to Israel have some credence of value. Don't forget this is a book written by a politician for himself, so you can expect quite strong uh, biases. But the book goes quite into depth, especially into matters such as the uh, uh, the relations that he has built uh, with King Hussein of uh, Jordan and uh, with other leaders, for example, President Trump and Barack Obama, and he gives details into those things. Now, the structure of the book, I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. It's quite a well-structured book, and I didn't expect it to be honest. It's quite a well-written book. The depth, a 7 out of 10. I do feel that the author is hiding a lot of stuff, and especially a lot of the biases there, but it shows a lot of the attacks that uh, he has occurred from the media, but he portrays that image of Israeli media being super anti uh, Netanyahu and that he's fighting against all odds, which I believe it's a bit of an overstretch, but I wouldn't say it's fantasy. Now, the bias, 5 out of 10, it's a very biased piece of work. Now, I'm not giving it then 1 or 2. It has some elements of truth. It's a work that it was credited to begin with to be biased. So, yeah, what else do you expect? Now, their narration, 9 out of 10. The only reason I'm not giving it a 10 because the book promises that, that Netanyahu, it's himself, uh, will read a, bigger, a big portion of the book, which he does not. He partially does so. Uh, and overall, I'm giving it a 7.05 out of 10. It's a good read for anyone, both his opponents and his supporters, to truly understand his perspective. But don't forget, it is a biased piece of work. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and have a good day.